Tonight, a man is headed to prison after pleading guilty in a deadly hit and run. That crash killed a teacher in Greenville County. Our Nate Stanley joins us live tonight with more on the plea and the sentencing. Nate. Team here at the very intersection where Carly Brewer took up was killed. Taking a look at her memorial, we can see the poster saying that the trial begins today. Now, according to Walt Wilkins, the 13th Circuit solicitor, today was the first day of the trial, and to his surprise, the defendant, Montavious McMorris, pled guilty, getting a 23-year sentence. Now, in June of 2021, McMorris was driving through this intersection at a high rate of speed, running a red light before striking and killing Carly. Wilkins tells us a key witness was the deciding factor in this case and what ultimately led to this plea deal. That witness saying they saw McMorris attempting to destroy evidence by removing parts of his car before ultimately burning it. McMorris pled guilty, agreeing to a 23 year sentence for three, three crimes, including leaving a scene with death, reckless homicide and habitual traffic offender. Wilkins says McMorris will be required to serve at least 85% of that 23 year sentence. He's hoping this tragic situation will remind people of the importance of driving safely. In this case, he was uh, extremely negligent in driving fast, running red lights. They're there for a reason. They're there for your safety. Um, I know people uh, get uh, busy and they run late for meetings and whatnot. It's not worth it. Uh, slow down. They will wait wherever you're going. And Wilkins explained now McMorris will be taken to a South Carolina Department of Corrections facility where he will be assigned a prison to serve his sentence. Reporting in Berea, Nate Stanley, WIFF News 4.